Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to make a script that reads in a value and then outputs that value back on screen. So let's start making that script. So this is showing how to um, write something into a bash script, right? Um, it's going to be like set up your your bin bash line all right so i'm gonna clear then i'm gonna echo and now i'm gonna read well, let's say four characters and dash p means the prompt and i will ask enter four four characters CTR characters enter four characters um, and here let's see um, let's call this input input code and then we will echo that input code and then Well, echo will show what we have entered, and echo now will retrieve that. So, um, retrieve input value or input code. And here I need to use a dollar sign to expand whatever I have. Um, entered right and then I'm I'm gonna echo and that should be my script so what the script is saying is that pretty much I'm just reading in four characters and I'll echo it back on screen all right so let's save this um, and uh, Shamad uh, plus x to make this executable test input dot sh ls yep ready to run test underscore input dot sh so it prompts me here to enter four characters so let's say i put a b one two so you see the minute I hit the full character it just stops there and then it retrieves that info back on screen now I want to do something more here um, so let's say I don't want to show what I initially entered right so vi test input dot sh um, on line 5 here if I instead of echo I'm gonna put clear now watch the impact so escape WQ save this and uh, and now let's rerun this so enter for character let's say a B one two so you see now I just get it's retrieving what you entered um, so if you don't want to show what you entered, just want to show the output you can you can put that clear in the line um, let's go back to the code here test underscore input dot sh so you can see what I'm saying so just below input code the next line if you toggle that from echo or clear it makes a difference what you see on the screen um, this is all I wanted to talk about in this video how to read in a value into a bash script so I will end this video here hope you guys got something out of this bye for now